Good day, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Mr. Shea Poulet with Shea Poulet Homestead. So, check this out. We got the bu bug zapper. It's going to be some busy tonight. We're going to video it. I'm going to shut that light off over there with the smoke coming off of it. Yeehaw! Works wicked. And all the mosquitoes. I was thinking if I just take the tray off the bottom, maybe. I don't know how the tray comes off. Maybe the mosquitoes will just fall down onto the ground. Meat birds are getting pretty big, but some of the ducks are huge. Now, what I'm going to do is turn this light on in here and so you need the light to attract the mosquitoes, right? So working great. Good Amazon purchase. So if y'all want, uh, I got this here for it was fifty nine dollars with a twenty dollar coupon. So it came to like forty dollars with with tax. Some of the ducks stayed out there. I also noticed some of the birds. I don't know if if I do have hens. The ducks follow me. Watch when I come out here. That's pretty cool. Chickens don't follow you. I'm their duck dad. I want you guys to get in the in the pond. Man, if you guys can get in the pond, I hear the bug zapper zapping. The meat birds aren't aren't big at all compared to the ducks. The ducks are huge. Not all of them. Some of the ducks are small. Somebody's fighting. It's good. I don't want them to grow that fast anyway. If they grow too fast, it'd be a lot of work real quick. So my plan is to only uh, to kill about 10, 10 meat chickens every, uh, every weekend. That way they're when my kids are here and even my stepkids whenever they're here I'll uh, I'll have all the four kids and we're going to process some birds they all don't like doing it so I'm not going to force them to do it obviously this is something that I do I don't mind harvesting the birds at all it doesn't bother me I actually quite enjoy it it's fun processing it's something that I I wish I would have became is a is a meat cutter. You know, I I enjoy uh, cutting cutting up meat and learning all the different muscle groups and I'm watching the duck. The, somebody getting into a fight or what?
these are some persistent on ripping the bark off the Are you doing lucky? You can't see her, she's gray, but she's in, she's there. So I stapled that better now, so I put staples all along the bottom and up the side, so now they really can't get out. <clears throat> I got one pile of cucumber beetles. So rooster holler, if you're watching, uh, Give me some tips and tricks to get rid of some uh, cucumber beetles. I'll show you the garden on the next video. I'll just do a little quick uh, video of the garden next to show you guys. But um, usually I don't have that much problem with the uh, cucumber beetles. But this year they're eating everything. So I'm going to spray some soap and water after. It's almost the evening. So I'll... Uh, I'll do that in probably an hour or so just with a squirt bottle and go around. They don't seem to be bothering the tomato plants. It's more my squash and and my uh, my squash and my cucumbers. Jeez, look at the size of that duck. That's a big duck compared to that duck. Some of them are really big. That one's like really white. Can't wait till they get bigger. I can see which is uh, which is the drakes and which is the hens. It's weird to see the them leghorns being aggressive already. Naturally, they're just a very skittish bird. So I'm surprised on how aggressive they became just in just in a week. Well, not a week. She's uh, a month, not a week. A month. So some of this grass here, so what I'll do, instead of, I could just use it as compost, obviously mix it in. But what happens is if you mix all this into your wood shavings, it's great. It decomposes, and that's why I put it out in the outdoor pasture, because that's normally how I do it for the garden. But I just take that with my, uh, I got like a pitchfork, and I just pitchfork it and clean it up, because it's pretty well... Uh, toast now there's just a little bit left for them to pick and then tomorrow I'll throw some more I just threw this but like they're already pooping in it and stuff so man that's a big duck I want the black face so I'm noticing that see the black on the heads of the bigger ducks that one don't have it has a little bit that one has a lot And the meat birds are supposed to be all roosters, but I'm noticing some of them have a paler comb. And some of them are also like more feathered out, which usually is indication of a hen. So roosters, you see how he's not feathered out as much. And then you look at her, she's more feathered out. So if you look at another female, well, those are all males. Those are all males. That's a male. They don't have as much feathers. But also maybe the maybe their combs aren't completely red yet. Cuz I've noticed in some of the some of the roosters are uh, 
their combs are getting bigger and bigger. All right, y'all. So we're going to go check out the garden. And like I said, rooster holler. We're going to uh, we'll talk about some uh, some tips and tricks. And if you guys have any uh, tips to get rid of those other than soap and water, you can say neem oil too. I, I know uh, I know all the the little tricks, but uh, did anything work for you guys? They're enjoying sleeping in the grass, eh? They're supposed to be eating it, but they seem uh, the meat birds have zero interest in. I don't know how people, I don't know how people train their birds to uh, to go in the pasture, because quite frankly, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have no luck. See, look how fully feathered she is, and her too. Both of them. They're both heads. All right, let's go get some eggs. Up me lock. Click some eggs. Go on, Charlie. <clears throat> oh, Charlie boy. All right, let's see what we got for eggs because I don't feel like getting eaten by mosquitoes. Oh, we got some browns in. So I was thinking of selling the two silkies I have before they get picked on by uh, all my other birds. Oh, look at these two brahmas. What the heck? They're not even in that area. How come? Well, that's a new one. How come you're not there? Yep, that's a new one. That's a new one. Usually they're in the. Usually they're in the other rafter. All right, so we got one here. We need a lot more eggs than that. Come on, girl. Those are just whites. Uh huh. Get out of the road. Get out of the road. Well, thank God for the whites, eh? I told you they're good layers. They're the only birds that aren't stressed out. And the brown. Usually that little silky, remember? She's always sitting there. She's not sitting there anymore. I wonder where she is. Those, those birds are... So she's not laying on nothing, so it's her that's laying on it. So she's going to peck me a little. She's, she's not the nice one. Oh, yeah. You went and found some eggs. That's what you did. You went and found some eggs, I see. Move, Charlie. Alright, so then we got some browns in here and white. So this is where my ceramic egg is. It's right there. There's my Brahmas. New brown. Brahma. I don't know if she's laying on anything. No. 
She hasn't been laying on anything lately. So now I just gotta go up here where my hat is. Oh, I didn't check there. Remember how they were laying in that crack? I can't believe it, but they, they have been. All right. So that's it. So the only other hiding spot is behind this nesting box, which I have a hard time to believe that they actually lay there, but watch this. Nope. Okay. So in that crack, believe it or not, they lay eggs. I don't know how they fit there, but I've seen eggs in there. There's absolutely no way for them to get eggs in there. So, the verdict for today is this. I lost my phone. This is what we got. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whites. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, thirteen eggs. So, we can keep up a dozen a day. Like I said, the the... I don't even remember how many, I think I got nine whites. Afraid the mosquitoes are bad. All right, y'all. Have a good one. I'm getting eaten alive. Cheers.